I'm Chris Salim, and welcome to my Bohemian Kitchen. Let's get started today. We've got a couple of really funky dishes for you today, okay? First up, we've got a beautiful fish and prawn paste that we're gonna kind of wrap onto a lemongrass skewer. Second up, we've got a killa Kerala prawn curry with basmati rice. And lastly, pumpkin and Thai basil soup. My hunt for the freshest ingredients takes me to Chapora River. We've got all kinds of different prawns. All right, let's get started. I live in Goa and spend part of the year in Ibiza, Spain. Experimental and passionate cooking really turns me on. It's every cook's dream to have his own restaurant. Sublime's my baby. Join me for some wild cooking. All right, let's get this started. First up, we've got a beautiful fish and prawn paste that we're gonna kind of wrap onto a lemongrass skewer. Lemongrass, beautiful, aromatic. Take a smell. All right, cut these off. And now for making of our, our skewers. Well, what I'm gonna do now is use these sort of lemongrass skewers because I think when we cook them, I believe that these skewers are actually gonna release their natural lemony oils into our fish and prawn paste. So I think this is a big bonus to use. We're gonna make three, prepare three of these skewers ready. There we go. All right, lemongrass skewers are done. Let's move on to the fish and prawn paste. It's a really, really simple concept, okay? Let's get started. We've got a beautiful piece of snapper over here. So I'm gonna cut sort of an end off over here, all right? So I've got our fish right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get our blender ready. And all we do is we take our fish, chop it up maybe into a, a smaller workable size, and get it in the blender. It's as easy as that. We take a couple of prawns. I've used these small little ones right here. All right, there we go. We've got a couple of prawns in there. We've got some fish. Go ahead and put these two bad boys in the fridge so they don't get bad. We're gonna be working on sauteing off our onions and our garlic. So to saute off our onions and our garlic, add a little bit of, um, of sesame oil to this. All right, got some onion, some garlic, all right. We don't need much. Got the garlic chopping action happening here. I think I'll use just a little bit more than half an onion. We're just cutting down this onion in a, just a regular down chop. We go ahead and grab onions and garlic, get it in our frying pan. Okay, you don't want to overcook it. it. Starts getting really black very, very fast. So just keep your eye on it all the time. All right, next. We're gonna start adding the other component into our paste. Some beautiful sort of Thai prawn paste here. Okay, get that into our little mix over there. I think we can go ahead and take this garlic and these onions out of the frying pan, sort of lightly fried. I think some chopped coriander doesn't hurt. That can go in there also. Boom, here's some grated coconut. A little bit of Thai fish sauce over here again. Maybe uh, two teaspoons. A little bit of grated coconut. A little bit of brown sugar, okay? A little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. Get our top on. All right. Let's take a look. Beauteous. You see that? That's done. Gonna remove this, put this over here. All right, back to rolling the saute. Let's go. A little bit of fish and prawn paste in your hand right here. Doesn't need to be gigantic, doesn't need to be huge, not important. We're gonna just kind of form these between our hands and we're gonna place this lemongrass skewer in there, okay? Beauteous, beauteous, beauteous. Okay, next spoonful. I gently press that lemongrass skewer in there and form these patties. All right, okay, moving right along. What we're gonna do is we're gonna gently fry this up. We're gonna use sort of two oils. I'm gonna use a little bit of peanut and a tiny little bit of sesame oil, okay? I'm gonna kind of season these up with a little bit of sesame seeds as well. All right, while the oil is getting hot, I'm gonna to reach to the back, get a mixing bowl so we can start our sauce. It's a mixing bowl. 
It's a whisk. Now this, in Thailand, I can imagine is fast food out there for them, you know? Move on to the sauce. This is really exciting, Japanese rice wine, okay? We're putting in a little bit of fish sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of peanut oil, a little bit of sweet chili sauce, and a little bit of soy. Soya and sweet chili sauce, a good teaspoon. All right, let's mix that up. Nice. Let's take a look at our, our beautiful little lollipop prawn lollipop things. Look at that golden color right there. Do you see that? I'm gonna take a little bit of green onion here. Sort of chop this up really fine. Paper thin for our sauce. There we go. Let's give the sauce another whisk. Beautiful. Let's check these bad boys out over here. Yeah, we're in business. I think we can go ahead and start plating. Got a beautiful plate here. Maybe we'll use this. Let's do it. Oh, lovely. I'm loving these colors. That one there, this one over here, like that. There we go, that's the third one. Some young sort of coriander leaves as decoration. And a little bit of cherry tomato. We're putting some red in that picture there. Ta-da! Prawn and fish skewers with lemongrass and a sort of sweet and sour little dip. That's really good. It's incredibly soft. It's almost fluffy. It's very, very light. I could see this in a cocktail party on the end of the bar or something like this. My hunt for the freshest ingredients takes me to Chapora River. Shulim Fish Market. Here we are on the Chapora River. We've got mangrove forest behind me. We're at Govekar's beautiful fish shop. If you look here, it's, everything is looking nice and fresh. We've got all kinds of different prawns. Let's take a look at these beautiful jumbo prawns. Look at that, huh? Okay, I've got these beautiful tiger prawns right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bag. Five, six of these pieces. 200 grams, good night. Tinto? Tinto gram. 200 grams. Good night, Hogya? 200 rupees, 200 grams. 1,000 rupees, one kilo. Not bad. In Germany, America, it would be five times the price. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this with me. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. This is gonna be such a cool dish. We've got a killer Kerala prawn curry with basmati rice, and let's get started, okay? First things first, we're gonna go ahead and get a wok. You can cook this in a wok, you can cook it in a, in a pot, in a saucepan, anything, okay? Um, we're gonna start chopping up a couple of vegetables here, okay? A little bit of onion, chop these up very, very roughly. A little bit of ginger, all right. Next up, garlic. Let's get started. Let's get our burner going and pull out the star of the show from the fridge. Got here these beautiful prawns. As you can see, they've already been peeled. To this wok right here, we're gonna add a little bit of peanut oil. We can chop up these red chilies up a little bit. We've also got a few curry pata leaves here. These are curry leaves, used very, very, very often in, in food from Kerala and South India. Okay, we're gonna put that on the side. 
Let's start with adding our um, onions, ginger, and garlic, okay? All right, red chilies, curry leaves. Mix that all up nicely. Okay, now to this, a little bit of rock salt, a little bit of crushed pepper. All right, one and a half teaspoons of turmeric powder. The main flavor here is turmeric. A lot of healing properties in turmeric as well. To this mixture now, we're gonna add some coconut milk and a little bit of water. Coconut milk. Just about sort of quarter cup of water. Stir that around. And this is when the curry starts taking form. Do you see all these colors? You've got sort of bits of red, green. This is when I'm gonna add some freshly grated coconut that we've grated a little earlier. Beautiful, beautiful, authentic, super, super simple stuff. Lastly, we're gonna add our prawns. Just kind of gently put them in there. As the curry is cooking under a very, very low heat, the prawns are gonna gently be cooking as well. They're gonna let out that prawn flavor right into mixing with that coconut milk, all these other spices that we've added in here, all the other ingredients, and the coconut milk. Flavor the whole dish up. As soon as the prawns are ready, you're done. A little bit of coriander. Now, for the plate up. Follow me, let's get the right plates. Nice red one. White bowl. Beautiful, let's do this plating. First things first, I'm gonna plate up this curry. Got these beautiful colors of pink, yellow, green, and red. Okay, got this lovely curry over here. I've got some rice on the side over there, let me go pick it up. All right, bam, pa bam. Maybe a curry leaf on the top of this bad boy. Give it a little bit of green color. I prepared a little bit of chili oil here on the side as well. This is just chili powder and oil mixed together. Two green chilies on the side. And there we go. Kerala prawn curry with basmati rice. Like this beautiful little rice tower we've made here. One of these prawns, a little bit of curry. Okay, guys, I know you wish you were me right now. Mmm. Really good. Flavors of curry babda, flavors of coriander, prawn, coconut milk, and turmeric. Absolutely delicious. All right, now, for our super cool dish, we're gonna be doing pumpkin and Thai basil soup, okay? So now, first things first, where is my pumpkin? With... Thank you very much, here it is, all right, there we go. Okay, let's start with the pumpkin. Okay, got my knife. I'm gonna make sort of one incision straight down. Let's see how this one's gonna be. So the pumpkin is only one aspect of that soup, okay? I think we'll need a little bit more than that. Okay, that's more like it. Let's keep that pumpkin here on the side a little bit. First things first, when you're trying to remove the skin, please again, be really careful, okay? Moving right along, you cut this sort of center bit out here. What you wanna do is you wanna cut it up into little pieces. All right, let's get these pumpkin out of the way. Maybe put them in a little mixing bowl. Okay. Pumpkin set. Next thing, onion. Galangar. Now, of course, galangar, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, is sort of Thai ginger. And just smell it because it's just phenomenal. I'm just kind of chopping it roughly, keeping it sort of minimal, keeping it small. Okay, let me get another plate. Get this stuff sort of off the... Um, off the cutting board. Onion. There we go. All right, you with me? We're gonna take some garlic right here, okay? Some lemongrass right here, okay? Lemongrass. So this is just gonna kind of be cut into smaller size pieces. All right, take this lemongrass, 
and add it with our, with our galangar. A little bit of garlic, rough chopped, in the bowl. Boom. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna boil the pumpkin. A bit of water. I'm gonna get that going, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. So our water is going. Let's go and add our pumpkin in here. Just kind of gently put it in there. There you go. All right, once we've added our pumpkin in here, I figure about 15 to 18 minutes or so for the pumpkin to cook thoroughly. We're not gonna wait that long. I've got some sort of pumpkin water that I've kept aside and some cooked pumpkin in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out now for you, all right? Pumpkin water, pumpkin. I think I'm gonna just put this aside, pot out. Sesame oil. Possibly a tiny, tiny little bit of peanut oil as well we can throw in there. Got some peanut oil. Let's get cooking. Let's get this oil hot. You see the oil coming off the pan? This, is, this means the oil is ready to use, okay? We're gonna go ahead and add our aromatics. Very, very kind of citrusy lime leaves, okay? Absolutely aromatic. We're gonna add that in here also, okay? Chili. I'm chopping it up with the seeds and all for full effect. That's in here. This gives us a quick stir. All right, now we're cooking. A little pinch of salt, a little bit of crushed pepper. Pumpkin. A little bit of Thai basil. This, of course, is gonna be, we're gonna be adding a little bit of more of that stuff in the blender once we start blending our soup. Okay. Pumpkin water. This is what we use to cook the pumpkin in, okay? Very, very flavorful, this stuff. Let's prepare these leaves for the blending. I'm just gonna basically just take them off their stems and just clean them up a little bit. I love it. Lastly, Coconut milk, okay? Can't find anything in Thailand without coconut milk, okay? It's an absolutely everything. That's our soup. Shut it off. I'm gonna go and get a dish. We can kind of cool it down in a, in, a, in a mixing bowl. And get it off into the freezer. And I'll get it off into the freezer where I can cool it down quickly before I blend it. All right, let's see if it's cooled down our soup that we put in the freezer here. Yeah, that'll do. All right, now for the blending part. Let's bring this over here. Let's ladle in this. The only thing you wanna remember is you don't really have to blend these lime leaves that we put in there, okay? There we go, okay. Fresh Thai basil, okay. And let's give this a blend. See what it's gonna taste like afterwards. I think we're in business. Let's check it out. All right. Get a little strainer, because we wanna sort of strain and filter out all these fibers that are in there. Filter out all this fiber from the, from the lime leaf, okay. All we wanna do with the lemongrass is actually extract the flavor and not really eat it because it's very, very fibrous. So we're just squeezing out kind of all the essences of all these flavors here, the galangar, the onion, the garlic, just kind of squeezing it all out. And that's what's gonna be the main flavors of our soup, okay. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bowl. All right. Pour this soup in our bowl, like so. Some fried garlic that we have here. 
a little bit of fried onion, a leaf of Thai basil. Okay, there we go. Pumpkin and Thai basil soup, okay? So try a little bit with the onion. Mmm, creamy, very, very Thai. I must say, tastes very authentic. Absolutely delicious. This could be a great soup. I think you could even chill this and even serve this chilled. What an exciting day it's been today. We cooked awesome, beautiful, beautiful little things for you. Okay, we started out with prawn and fish skewers with lemongrass and a sort of sweet and sour little dip. A little bit of tanginess in there as well. Really, really yummy. Next, we had the prawn Kerala curry with steamed rice. Really, try and cook this at home. Uh, you won't be disappointed. And lastly, pumpkin and Thai basil soup. This could be a great soup. Just remember this, okay? There's nothing fixed. There's nothing concrete. Not in life or in food, okay? Be connected to what you're cooking. As you're cooking, taste. You don't need to measure. If I tell you one cup, put a half cup in there if that's what you feel like, you know? It's all up to you. Go with the flow. This is the last message, very, very important. Be free in your food. And everyone will know that and they'll taste that too. Good luck, I'll see you guys later.